You know, it's not every day that the Boise City Council is asked to consider a request to build a private landing strip, least of all one in the foothills around Table Rock. But that is on the special business agenda tonight for the City Council. Scott Logan explains what's going on. According to public records, the proposed landing strip would be built along with a single family residence on some 149 acres in the foothills north of Table Rock, northeast of East Table Rock Road and north of East Wild Horse Lane in the city of Boise's area of impact. The FAA has no problem with it, but several other agencies are lining up against the idea. The Boise Fire Department, Boise Parks and Recreation, and city planners also recommend denial, saying a private airstrip does not comply with comprehensive plans for the foothills. We talked to Dean Hildy. He's the property owner and the one applying for the landing strip permit. He's a retired Alaskan bush pilot who lives in Boise, and he told us that the landing strip he's talking about, the grass strip, would be 1,200 feet long and 40 feet wide. We'd certainly like to you know, sit down and shoot an, an interview with you. Hildy declined to go on camera for now, but said he would only fly his Piper Super Cub into the airstrip during daylight hours, no more than 14 times a week during peak season. He says neighbors don't mind, but we could not independently confirm that. We did ask folks around town what they thought of a private Foothills landing strip. I wouldn't mind it at all. I think it'd be fine if he, if he uh, wants to and the city allows it. I don't think it'd be a problem. So many people use that facility up at Table Rock, and it's probably not a good idea to have private planes flying in and private homes. But Hildy says his airstrip would hardly be noticed at all. Scott Logan, KBY 2 News, Boise.